Hi, I'm Dr. Maximilian Sart at the Health Issue Chiropractic Center, and today we're going to go over a couple of rehabilitation exercises that will help stabilize your spine. Today's exercises are going to be uh, bird dog and dead bug. We're going to start with dead bug, and I've got two assistants with me today, Jeremy and Christina. So guys, go ahead and lie on your back. And the first cue that you want to have is you want to make sure that your abs are contracted to make sure that your low back is pressed against the floor. If I can fit my hand underneath your low back, it's not quite contracted enough. So that's the first part. We always want to make sure we're starting from a proper point. Now from here, it's just going to be a series of raising your arms and legs in different coordination, but I'm going to go through it for you. So first, what I want you to do guys and what you can notice is that one of our assistants has their hands raised overhead and one of them has their hands at the side. I want you to do this to comfort. If you've got a bad shoulder, don't go overhead, go hands to the side. But if you're comfortable with it, going overhead is going to help a little bit more with mobility. So guys, what I want you to do first is just raise your left arm up in the air. Keeping that back flat, perfect, relax that down. Now go right arm up in the air, perfect. Now relax that down. Now go ahead and bend at the knee and bring your left leg up. Perfect, keep that back flat against the ground. So that's a cue you always wanna remember. Relax that down, right leg up. Perfect, and we're making sure that that back is flat against the ground. Good, go ahead and relax. Now here's where a little bit of coordination comes in. I want you to raise up your left knee and your right hand at the same time. So go ahead and do that, guys. Perfect, and relax. And then I want you to raise your right knee and your left arm. And hold, and relax. Now for the last portion, I want you to raise both legs and both arms at the same time while keeping your back flat against the ground. So go ahead and do that for me, guys. And keeping that back flat against the ground. Keep holding. Now for each hold, you're gonna to wanna to hold for approximately 10 seconds or so. I kind of rush through them just to give you an idea of each movement, this being the culmination, and this is why it's called dead bug. Perfect, you can relax now, guys. Now I want you to go into a table position with your heads down at that end, and we're gonna go over bird dog. Now the nice thing about doing bird dog and dead bug together is that both movements imitate one another perfectly with the only difference being how you start position. You want to have a nice flat back here, so you want to have your abs and your core real tight. So I want you to be drawing in from the external obliques as well as the abdominals. Okay, and that's perfect, that's a perfect start. Now I also want you to retract your chin, just like you can see Jeremy doing here and Christina doing here. If your head's hanging or sagging in between your arms, you're not doing it quite right because then I'm gonna have to do a little bit extra work on your neck. So same deal guys, I want you to raise your left arm, just your left arm, straight out. Perfect. And relax. Now your right arm, straight out and keep it there. The reason they call this bird dog is because it appears that you're pointing just like a dog that you'd take hunting with you when you're hunting birds would point towards the bird that you shot down. Relax your arm down. Now I want you to raise your left leg out. And as you raise your legs out, you want to kick it back and you want to point your toe back. And relax. And now right leg back. Keep that core tight, external obliques tight and relax. And you can see two different versions where Christina is kind of parallel with her back. Jeremy can actually extend his legs up even a little higher. If you have the mobility, that's fine. Now it gets complicated. I want you to raise your left arm and your right leg at the same time. Keep a nice tight core. If you don't keep a tight core, you're gonna notice you're gonna wobble back and forth. And relax. And now right arm, left leg. Keep a nice tight core. That's the key. If you notice at home that you're wobbling a lot, it's because you're probably not tightening your abs. Relax. And that's the end. You don't do that final position that you do in dead bug. For obvious reasons, you'd fall down. But the other important cue that we want to remember is, and one thing that helped me a lot with bird dog, you guys can sit up if you want, is that you want to imagine the room is exactly 
as wide as you could possibly reach if you extended your arm all the way out to the tips of your fingers and your foot and leg all the way back to the tips of your toes. So you want to be reaching to imagine that you're touching both ends of the room. So instead of just throwing your arm up there, I want you to think kind of like how Superman flies faster, right? When he goes to fly faster, he reaches up. That's how I want you to think of extending your arm or extending your leg back, just like you're trying to touch either side of the room to the best of your ability. So that today was bird dog and dead bunk. That can help a ton with core stability and strengthening, locking in the adjustment that we provide for you. Thank you.